So why are women asking for labiaplasty? This is a procedure which is increasing in popularity quite a lot lately. I think the reasons for that is because women are seeing more images of different female anatomy uh, in social media and on the internet that didn't used to be available to us. And the other reason is because there's increasing awareness that there is actually a surgery that can address the issue. So many women are now asking about it and talking about it where before I think they would just suffer in silence um, and not ask for any help with an issue that was actually quite important to them. And that's why I think that more women are asking for labiaplasty these days. What is normal? And there's a wide degree of normal. There's some women that have long labia that are darkly pigmented. There's other women that have labia that are more broad um, and have a rough texture to them. There's, there's not just one normal, there's just lots of differences. And where you fall in the range of normal is just like having you know, red hair, brown hair, or blonde hair, it's all, it's all normal. Uh, the question is, you know, do you have to accept your normal or can you make a decision to change what your normal is um, to something that, that suits you better? So this surgery is done under local anesthesia. It takes somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes, depending on how much work is done. Um, there, there's two main categories of techniques. There's either a wedge where we take out a piece of, like a piece of pizza from uh, the longest part of the labia minora, or there's something called a trim where we take off the whole edge of the labia minora. And often we'll add some sort of adjustment to the, the clitoral hood, which is the little fold of tissue um, analogous to a foreskin in a man and, and sometimes to make everything look harmonious we also uh, will trim that a little bit. We use melting stitches um, and uh, the patients leave on the same day as surgery, uh, have a little bit of pain for, for two days and, and put, keep some ice on the area and otherwise uh, start to get back to, to regular life um, fairly quickly. Will this procedure affect your sensitivity? This procedure won't affect uh, your sexual sensitivity in the long run, but there is a healing time. Your vulva will be sensitive for about three weeks to the point where you're gonna want to avoid having intercourse um, or any activity which will have impact on the area, like riding a bicycle or riding a horse, none for three weeks. And then you start to gradually get back to things. Um, still might be a little bit sensitive until about week six, but in the long run, there's no interference in your ability to have an orgasm um, at all. This is not a surgery which is gonna take away a woman's pleasure. The idea of this surgery is it is going to enhance her sexual enjoyment. Are there any risks to having your labia um, reduced? There are some small risks uh, of w the wounds opening and not healing properly, particularly with the wedge method. Uh, the trim method has perhaps a risk of having an, an uneven scar, but if that, uh, the scar is closed meticulously and properly, that, that shouldn't happen. Um, you can have some bruising after this surgery and a little bit of swelling, uh, but that is typically temporary and will resolve within about 48 hours.